Super hurricanes, drought, wildfires turning New York City the color of Sunny D. Across America, climate change is wreaking havoc and driving people from their homes. And experts say this is only the beginning. This is in the order of millions of people. So where might they go? Climate researchers say the answer is in and up. Think Duluth. Wow, so millions of coastal elites like myself will one day be flocking to Minnesota? Is this the city of the future? Let's find out. Am I moving? I can't feel my legs. I'm not moving. Why was there not a jacket in my suitcase? To learn more, I met with Chief Sustainability Officer Mindy Granley. So tell me about uh, D Duluth. Well, Duluth yeah. is a great city. Yeah. We're on a great lake. We have yeah. lots of fresh water. Do you mind if we, here? Do, if we finish this inside? Because if I don't go inside in seven seconds, my heart's going to explode. Of course. Okay, go, let's go. Oh, my gosh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So what were you saying about Duluth? <laughs> Duluth. What were you saying about D Duluth? Well, experts have called Duluth a climate refuge because we're a place that's fairly safe from the worst effects of climate change. You're talking about in 50 years when this climate change thing like really gets bad, right? A few people are moving here now from California um, because of climate change. So you're telling me people are moving here from the good states? Yes. Mindy claims Duluth has big advantages, like 10% of the world's drinking water in Lake Superior and room for up to 10,000 new residents, because it's basically that barren ice planet from Star Wars. Some people can handle 80 inches of snow every winter. and 80 inches of snow? Over 80, yeah. Jesus Christ. Do you think those big UN climate change summits would be more effective if people knew that the alternative was having to move to Duluth? Well, there's really no bad weather, there's just bad clothing. Bad clothing. So people are still wearing Balenciaga here. We don't know what that is. Despite this vast cultural divide, coastal refugees are getting ready to flood Duluth. But are the locals prepared? There's a migrant caravan of Californians coming. They're bringing their spin instructors, their kombucha makers, their oat milk. You ready for that? I don't mind having a few more friends. Any advice for you know refugees that are coming here? Oh, sure. I mean, you need to dress really warm. They can't dress warmly because then they would lose their job as Instagram models. Well, it's going to be hard to be a bikini model here. <laughs> I mean, you're laughing, but this is important to my culture. Your culture. It felt like we were speaking two different languages, but how deep was this divide? Polo or rugby? Ooh, rugby, for Why? sure. Why? Um, because I like sports that... No, no, I don't mean the sport. I'm talking about oh. names for children. Polo oh, or, or rugby? Neither. Are there any members only exclusive clubs here? Well, there's Sam's Club and Costco. So I can do cocaine in the bathroom there? Uh, I even got some words of wisdom from former Duluth Mayor Emily Larson, seen here in a press conference last July. Duluth is gritty and resilient yes. and real. We work hard. We really care about each other. That's going to be tough for some of these people in L.A. because they don't work hard and they don't care about each other. But the first wave of Californians are already here. So how are they surviving? It does feel like another planet sometimes. Meet ex-Californian and environmentalist Jamie Alexander. We packed into a camper van thinking we were going to drive out here and spend the summer. And then wildfire season of 2020 happened and I decided to move my family here because of climate change. Let's be honest, okay? There's no Duluthians here. Is it Duluthians? D Duluthians? Duluthians. Duluthians. All right, let's be honest. There's no Duluthians here, okay? This place sucks, right? It doesn't. I love it here. I want to live in a place where it feels real. People say that D Duluthians, D Dulags, are more real people. A New Yorker spits in my face, it feels pretty real. Yeah. I mean, I think what is meant by that is here, you're connected to your neighbors. Everywhere is gonna experience climate impacts. If a climate related you know, weather event happened, would you be able to lean on your neighbors? I've lived in New York for seven years. I don't know my neighbor and I don't wanna know my neighbor. Next question, do you have a winter jacket for me? I didn't, this is not cutting it. And my BMI is like under 2%, you know what I'm saying? Jamie told me to really understand Duluthians, I would have to walk a mile in their shoes, even if mine were nicer. These boots are Louis. I'm not gonna get snow on them, am I? <laughs> you probably will. You ready to do it? I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, 
chutes. They're kind of hard to walk in at first. Okay, there goes my suit. Hey, those look like huge, almost rats. They're deer. Do they ever take the pizza out of your hand when you're in the subway or anything? No. No. Mm, that's, you're lucky. Duluth was starting to grow on me, but there was just one problem. The idea that there's like a climate proof city is A, it's not true at all, and B, it's dangerous because every place on earth is already experiencing climate impacts and climate change is happening now and people are making huge life changing decisions because of it. Then what the f am I doing here? I left my wife and family for a week to come here and it's not even a real climate refuge? No. Damn. I knew the only thing that could cheer up this coastal elite was hitting the spa. But unfortunately for me in Duluth, even the spa is terrifying. We had to remove 30 inches of ice so that you can go jump in it. Oh my God. Oh my God. And your body is gonna tell you you're gonna die. Yeah. But you're retraining some of those neural pathways in yeah. your head to say, hey, I can handle hard stuff. Yeah, I can handle this. Going in. Maybe once I get used to it, the cold isn't so bad. Woo! I'm frozen to the, to the thick. Well, at least I can go back to New York. Oh, God damn it, that's my car.